My name is James Lilacs. Hi, Hi James. And I'm... I'm a readaholic. Right. My parents had a very liberal attitude towards reading. There was always reading material around the house. The friends all read. Um, and they brought us, the kids up in a, in a, I guess, a European attitude. We were encouraged to read from an early age, to treat words responsibly. There was always come home from work and you'd have a couple of papers, but nothing out of hand. Um, in high school, <laughs> there'd be a couple of weekends where I'd read a little too much. But, I mean, everybody did it at that age. When I went to college, though, uh, that's when I started hanging around in libraries, all the time, libraries. But it, again, it was the social milieu. You, that's what you did in college. But that's also when I started to, um, you know, read alone by myself. And l looking back, it, it, it's hard to, you know, I, I didn't see how excessive it was becoming. At that point in my life, though, I mean, I was, I was functioning perfectly well. I, I didn't feel it was affecting my life at all. Um, I guess I felt sometimes that the more I read, you know, the more attractive I was. Here, just start out with a couple of light repetitions. Work your way up. Still, I, I, I must have known there was something wrong about the way I was using books. I, I had this grudging admiration for you know, social readers, you know, the people who could just do a line and then leave it alone. I, I always figured I was the kind of guy who could hold his grammar pretty well. So I you know, really didn't think anyone noticed just how much I was reading. But, uh, uh, thing, things things started getting they started falling apart it worked do, do, do you want to stop do you, do you want to take a break we don't have to continue why, no. why don't we stop do you want to stop no you okay well it, it just it, things it, things just got so bad so fast I mean uh, I lost my job <clears throat> I was, I was out of control. I mean, I'd, I'd leave work in the middle of the day and go out to my car and get out of the thesaurus and read a couple of entries, you know. And I, I'd come back all flushed and saying words like jackanape or, you know, perspicacious or something. And everybody knew. Everybody knew. So I, I was fired. I did nothing but try to read on the job. I completely lost all attention to what I was doing on the job. What, what was your job? I was an air traffic controller. I, I wasn't even reading for comprehension anymore. I was just reading to read. I was doing speed reading just to get it in. It was interfering with everything, with, with my sleep, my digestion, my love life. I, I, my girlfriend left me. I, I, I can still see her as she walked out of my life. Levi Strauss, San Francisco. Waist, 28. Inseam, 30. How did you support your habit? It got so bad I had to sell all my liquor just to buy books. But that didn't last. That money didn't last. It wasn't long before everything I had, all the money, gone. Hey, you, you got a dollar, something, a quarter, anything? You'd just go out and spend it on a novel. Things had gotten so bad I had, I had nowhere to go. I had, I had no one to turn to. I, I was reading anything. I didn't care how cheap, how pulpy, how poorly written. I read everything, <laughs> everything except the handwriting on the wall.
when James first came to me, when he was first referred to me, he was a real mess. Let me tell you, a real mess. So what we do in these more difficult cases is put them on a strict visual diet. But the guy kept backsliding. He was a tough nut to crack, let me tell you, sister. He was a real hard nut to crack. God, and we ask Mitch for his guidance. What we do with these severe cases of weedaholics is put them on this therapy program called Biblio Negation Therapy, or as us professionals call it, BNT. James, get a hold of yourself. Think about chocolate covered cherries, bubble bath, Christian Dior nightgowns, baseball, visual consultants, department stores, Dayton's. You gotta do better than this, James. You gotta think about a little bit more superficial things. I really wanted to get well. I, you know, I, I really did. I, I wanted to just go into a bookstore and just, just browse like everyone else. I, I, I tried. I listened to the radio. I went to movies, you know, avoiding foreign films, you know. But temptation was just everywhere. Would you like to buy a paper, sir? Wall Street Journal? Bunny had, had given me a book that they use in programs like these. It's a collection of Rod McEwen's poetry. Anytime I had the real urge to read, I would pick it up and, and read a couple of lines. And it left such a bad taste in my mouth, I didn't want to read for the rest of the day. She also signed me up with Readaholics. That was really good. They have this monthly newsletter, though. It's the stupidest thing. I can't get that. But it's been... It's been working. Lately, I feel great. I, I really do. I feel, I feel good. I'm still taking it one word at a time, and I probably always will. But it feels so good to know that I'm back where I want to be and that my life is headed in the direction that I know it should be. Thank you.